Hello, beautiful souls. How y'all doing? If you're new here, welcome. I'm Brainy, and this is Brainy Twin Gemini, where we talk about the purest form of love, unconditional love, the law of attraction, manifesting your dreams into miracles, spiritual health and fitness, healing trauma through music, healing trauma in general, all good, good, good things. If you're returning sub, welcome back. Love to have you as part of our soul tribe and our loving vibe. Um, a little bit about me personally. I believe to be on one of the most beautiful sacred journeys, love journeys of a lifetime, known as Twin Soul Love. I brushed shoulders with my twin for a good couple of decades. We were placed at the same place at the same time, many, many times. Um, however, it wasn't the right time. In 2019, we came into um, the flesh of each other. Um, and again, it wasn't sustainable at that period of time. We went our separate ways. We continued on our awakening journey, healing journey, clearing karma journey. And by the grace of God, we are back together at this very moment in time. I'm merely just a messenger um, meant to come out with the truth of what this journey truly entails and debunk any of the myths out there. There's a lot of pollution and noise out, out in the, um, I want to just say out on the internet. And this is one of the toughest journeys you'll endure in, in your life. It isn't a Cinderella story. It is a very, very difficult journey. So with that being said, I want to just shout out a few things. Um, if you're new, hit the subscribe and like and comment to be entered into a weekly giveaway. Um, they'll be now either on Wednesdays or Thursdays. So good luck. And, you know, being a new sub, you're just helping us get the word of unconditional love out there. So hit the subscribe key, um, you know, for more videos like this and just simply getting the word out. If you're an existing sub, just put giveaway in um, the comment. You don't just have to put giveaway, but as long as the word giveaway is in there somewhere in the comment, um, you'll be entered in. So good luck to you. The winner for this week is um, at Valerie3860. Um, so reach out to me via email we'll coordinate a time um, to go th through this 30 minute message bearing in mind that i'm always about two to three weeks behind in my messages and lastly and most importantly i just want to thank all of you that um, uh, came to the zoom call last evening it was absolutely beautifully wonderful the energy that you emanate was just simply amazing you're all so very gifted and you all like i just the, the the vibe i was vibrating after the call for hours i was kind of excited I, with this vibration i couldn't even sleep so thank you so so much for sharing your stories um it truly truly does mean the world to me to have your trust trust is a very sacred gift and for you to give that to me is is why i do what i do every single day for you that's my gift to give back to you so again amazing amazing souls Thank you so much for exposing your vulnerability. Um, this is not an easy journey, and I really enjoyed each and every one of you. I loved, loved putting a face to these beautiful comments that you always put on this, our, I want to say, our channel. So thank you once again. Um, it was amazing. Next call is Wednesday, March 20th. Um, there's, you know, up to 100 people can attend the call. I think there was about 15 uh, five people didn't show. There was it was very nice. It was a uh, comfortable amount of people, but it was an amazing. And you're all simply amazing. So thank you so much. I'm gonna get started with the message now. Um, I predominantly do masculine energy for a twin, the Twin Flame Collective that are in separation, physical separation, realizing that physical separation is in the third D, like the third uh, dimensional element in on earth in the world but your souls are always um, traveling to each other in a different dimension and it is absolutely beautiful something very very bizarre happened overnight now i don't know if it was because of the collective group um you know chat that we had yesterday but um there is some some something happening happening if there is a karmic partner um there is like the masculine if they are with a karmic partner um there is a huge um this karmic partner has been hiding something from from this masculine um and it is going to blow open and it it this karmic i want to say toxic partner 
Um, like, like I said, I've been doing something very, very toxic, and this is all going to come to um, to the light of the masculine, and it is going to cause absolute chaos in this karmic partnership. It's I feel like a, 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 like an ending, a very abrupt ending. Um, so, you know, so a lot of times people will ask me why do they go to a karmic partner? Um, how can they heal when they're with a karmic partner? Um, sometimes we go to karmic partners because there's still lessons that we need to learn. Um, you know, and one of those very valuable lessons is the value of our worth. You know, if you're down and your, your self-worth is tanked and you're down on the ground and you're not feeling worthy, it's easy to slip into a karmic partnership, um, you know, and it, they bec it becomes a narcissistic relationship and eventually that lesson is learned where it's like I am worth something and I value my worth. Um, and to give you insight, um, you know, when I was reflecting this morning, and it's just kind of ironic how this, all, all of this energy always plays out, but I was self-reflecting this morning, and I was married for 20 years in a relationship for 24. The same relationship, of course. And I, I was thinking this morning, like, w w w like, you know, sometimes I go back and remind myself of the lessons I've learned, but I was like, well, well what made me stay? Like, I, I would, was trying to, under trying to reconcile that. Um, because, you know, I, I felt this sense of unworthiness this whole time while I was in this karmic partnership, but I still continued to stay. That was on me. That was my reluctance to learn the lesson. And then eventually one day it was just like, it was so calm, so subdued. It was like, you need to go. It was, you just, you need to go. I, I feel like this karmic partner has done something terrible to this masculine. I feel like they were... Um, there was some like, I want to say indiscretion or, you know, they are keeping, they're seeing someone else, let's put it this way, and it's all come to light. Um, and it's going to crush this masculine because karmic love is still love. Twin soul love is a very, very deep, profound form of love. It's unlike any you other have, you will ever have, but it's still love and it still hurts. And I feel like some of the masculine and feminine energies you have, you've had many broken hearts in your, on the course of your journey of life. Um, so yeah, there's an, there's an ending here um, for, for some of those that are in that karmic partnership. Um, you know, stay in that, you may feel that disruption, feminine, because this is an energy, I want to say an energetic, um, an energetic connection so you may feel that chaos you may feel that disruption you may feel that anger you just because there this masculine is going to go through a whole bunch of emotions this is part of the spiritual journey and getting to that learn those lessons these very valuable lessons about themselves um the, i i see true love here and this masculine it does truly love you and you've never ever you're never outside of their thoughts or their hearts um it's a journey to true love but ultimately it's a journey of true love to of oneself um and loving oneself because you come into each other and you trigger that all sorts of things the awakening the healing the clearing karma you know just unfortunately resurrecting trauma that's buried deep within yourself and you get to that true love. This karmic partnership that's ending, that is the masculine loving themselves. You know, um, just saying, look, I, I've given you too many chances. It's done, we're, we're finished, we're over. Like, I love myself too much right now um, to go through this again. So even though it, it is a bit of an uncomfortable energy, it's a necessary energy in order for this masculine to move forward. And yes, going into a karmic partner is part of the healing process, believe it or not, um, because it shows them what they don't deserve in love, right? Um, sometimes when we're down on the ground it, we, we, and we're in a temporary state of darkness, we, we don't always make the right decisions. We don't always make the right choices if we don't love ourselves, right? We're seeking love outwards and we're not seeking it inwards. So that can be, an, like, an, it's, I, I want to say, a disaster, 
a, a recipe for disaster. So it's kind of good, but not so good. Um, the one thing um, with this with this karmic chaos and these endings, it may not be a partner, it could be a job, it could be a family, it could be anything. I'm thinking more of a karmic partner. Um, they're narcissists, they're abusive, they're devious, um, and they're manipulating this masculine because they're very, very kind, very kind-hearted. Um, and they want to always give. Same with you, feminine energy. But as 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 this truth and all of this stuff starts to unravel, um, they start missing you more and more. Feminine energy, like they're like, I wish you were here. You know, um, if they could say anything, um, it would be like, I wish you were here next to me. I miss you. They miss you terribly. Um, and despite what you think you never leave their thought and their heart space. I know it's hard to reconcile when it's like, well, they're with a karmic partner um, and they just like toss me away like a dirty piece of trash, right? It, it has nothing to do with you per se. Your masculine um, energy would never um, hurt you. They're just not ready at that moment in time. Um, and it, you know, they, they, we all have to learn our lessons. We all have to overcome some hurdle, hurdles and obstacles in order to get to that true love of oneself. You know, so I feel like God, higher power, universe, source, however you resonate, is is bringing these truths to this masculine. Um, because this masculine is so sensitive, so caring, and so loving, sometimes you're naive. You don't see what's right in front of your eyes. And I feel like source God is, is bringing, um, you know, certain awareness to this masculine and it's about this karmic partner um and it's finished um another message they could, if they could say to you right now is first of all you know they miss you second of all i can't wait to conquer the world with you um you this connection is uh i want to say an energy powerhouse but it's also the purest rawest form of love you will ever experience while you're endeavoring your journey on earth it is i want to say it stems many lifetimes it's a soul journey it's you know it's hard to um get outside of that ego and just really truly resonate with the soul but together you will conquer the world um absolutely 100 percent um you know I, I often say that we all travel our journeys it's all unique. Even talking last night and listening to all your beautiful, beautiful um, journeys. It's very, very different. But it's fundamentally the same. You know? And when you, when you do come together, you will conquer the world together. One person at a time. This is a journey of unconditional love. We are meant to spread the vibration of unconditional love. Sometimes it's hard. But you have gifts. And you've been presented with a very valuable gift and blessing of showing you what true, pure, raw love looks like. What are you going to do with that? Are you going to run with it? Because what you're meant to do for each other is bring the best in each other out. So, you know, your creativity is just through the roof. Your intuition is on steroids. Um, so it, it's meant to bring the best version of you out. And, you know, if you're, and it's natural, I'm not saying there's no right or way, wrong way to navigate this journey. If you're in that um, prison of, you know, pining and yearning, it's not doing you any good. Your soul is calling you to do something. Fulfill that soul purpose if you can. Um, and most lastly, um, I'm longing for your warm embrace. So they're vulnerable and exposed. They're feeling after like this, 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 I want to say this truth, this, or deception, however you look at it. Um, they're feeling very vulnerable and exposed because it's like one of those, how did I not see this? Like, where have I been? Um, their head has temporarily been in this and they have one eye open and one eye closed. Um, once you get out of that toxic situation, that's when both eyes start to open again. So they are missing you terribly. Um, 
and I, I just feel like um, they're thinking um, and you are in the forefront of their thoughts. Um, we all have to think. <laughs> you know, some, you know, I always say, you, you be, be careful of the pollution of your thoughts. You know, meditating and manifesting love and or going into a dark place of, of just um, the past, resurrecting things that you have no control over. It's okay to go back there. Like I said, I went back there this morning. Like, whoa, how did I wait so long to value and love myself? Because I was entrapped in that karmic, well, and I put myself there. It was me. Um, I could have easily walked away at any time, moment in time. But it was just a sense of unworthiness. Um, and this, the, the deep, deep trauma that I went through as a, as a child. Um, so they're just thinking of you right now. Um, they really, truly do, do want to reach out. I want to say that today in particular, um, if you can somehow get by water, um, a river, a lake, anywhere, like just if you can, I feel like if you do that today, there's going to be a very deep, profound message delivered to you. Some form of inner wisdom, um, liberation, freedom, knowledge, something very profound. If you can do it, please. Um, and you will get, and please share if you do. Oh my goodness. Um, two other, or three other beautiful messages for your beautiful souls are from a physical perspective, some relationships seem less than perfect. Yeah, from a higher perspective, all relationships are sacred, for they each help us to grow in love and wisdom. I can't, I don't even need to e e embellish this message. It does sometimes seem from a physical perspective that it is less than perfect because unfortunately we're, we're trapped, we're programmed. Let's put it this way. We are programmed to behave and to think a certain way. That's what um, society wants. But when you come into this beautiful soul, everything that you've been programmed to believe starts deprogramming. And it's like, wow. And you go to different destinations this is the best kept secret in the world. Um, so you are, you are bound by the soul and I love it so much. S surrender all that no longer serves you. Let all that remains buried in your heart come to the surface and be healed. Let there be space for new energies to enter. A new beginning transforms darkness to light. I cannot, like I love this so much. Surrender, surrender, surrender. Let it go, push it off a cliff. Uh, you know, like artificially push it off a cliff. No, whatever you're carrying, any burdens from the past, let it go. It's not helping you in, in the moment. Um, it's just dragging you down. Let it go. Let new energies enter. Forgive you. Forgive others. It's a fundamental um, element of this journey. Just surrendering all. Surrendering toxicity. Surrendering block, like third party block. So much. And you will just feel this sense of bliss and harmony and peace and nirvana. It's like, wow, I let it go. It's awesome. Be still, listen, feel, and just be. Have you forgotten what is truly important? When you pass from this world, all you take with you is your soul and the beautiful memories it holds. I can't. This, this message is too much. It's absolutely true. You've been selected on a journey of a lifetime. And with it comes rigor. It, you, you need strength. You need courage. You need all sorts of things because you've been pushed down. You have to get back up. You get pushed down again. You get back up. Um, and what you are able and what you are meant to do is make a difference in this world. Source God, Universe Divine did not choose you because you're um, weak. They chose you because you can overcome every obstacle with faith and love in your heart. Remember that. Okay, so as many of you know, um, signs, sinks, serendipity, and um, what was I gonna say? Deja vu happens um, throughout this journey. It's not a coincidence. It, 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 these signs and synchronicities are reminders to you that you know, sometimes when you're feeling down and you're feeling blue, that this is true your journey. They chase you. 
I know when I was in separation, they still, it still happens every single day, but um, I, I felt like I was running from this at certain points. It's like, stop, 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 because you're not looking for it. Um, and I, there's like little animals that come and visit you. Um, they all mean something. There's no coincidences. They're planted in your life at that divine moment in time. And today, the um, I love this one so much. It keeps coming out. So um, the feminine animal spirit message is dove. Um, be peace, harmony. I, I just, I, I love the dove so much because it's like, it is, it represents ascension, communication, gentleness, devotion, love, peace, promise, mothering, prophecy, purification, sacrifice. Now, purification is exactly what you're going through. You're going through a purification. Um, you have a nurturing feminine energy, has a nurturing motherly instinct. You know, you, all, you want to take care. You want to make sure everybody's okay. Communication, messenger, communication, communication, communication. I feel like if you go to the water today, you will get a deep, profound message. You may even see something very bizarre. For the masculine, it's a little bit meh, but it kind of resonates with uh, the energy that they're just, it's, it's just in the moment. Everything does pass. It's wasp spirit. And I do not like those things, but I know they have a purpose. I run like and scream like a little baby when I see them. Um, and it's sometimes life stings. And that's exactly it. Um, with this, this unraveling of this karmic um, secret and deception, um, it does sting. And it, it, it does hurt. It, it, but it's only temporary. You know, the, sting, the stinger doesn't last forever. And it, it does stay, um, but it, it's one of those necessary things, right? So you may be feeling that, that, uh, that energy. And the overall um, animal spirit message today for the Twin Flame Collective, and I love this one so much, um, snake spirit, it's time to heal. Now, a shake sheds their skin, and they, you know, they come into some, some, something anew. Well, it is time to heal. This journey is about healing. Um, and what a beautiful gift. You know, like sometimes it's, it's, it's really, really difficult to look at those wounds deep within yourself. But recognizing them, accepting them as who you are is, a, is truly a freeing moment in time. You're not meant to live there. You're not meant to constantly live in the past. No, you're not. But you're meant to identify with some of those demons and ghosts and shadows um and accept them and and just move away from it it, it truly makes you it, who you are today and that's what gives you the strength the valor and the courage to endeavor one of the most difficult journeys of a lifetime so that's what i have for you beautiful souls today again if any of you this resonates kindly hit subscribe like and comment if you if you haven't already um i read every single one of your comments your comments are sacred to me and again um, thank you so much for navigating your way to this channel. Um, you know, you, you've made it through the pollution, you've made it through the fog, you've come to the truth, and this is where the magic truly, truly, really does happen. Have a beautiful day, folks.